Hey Leo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. Happy Sunday to you all. So today we're going to do a reading, a no contact reading. Okay, so this is for those of you who are in no contact, little to no contact with someone. You don't know where you stand with them. You're not sure if they care or know where they stand with you. Um, how are they feeling without you? So we're going to look at their energy, what's going on with them, what's holding them back, how they're seeing you, how they're seeing a relationship, their next move, and their intentions. So I did pull some messages to start the reading, and we get alone time, betrayal, and I'm, I'm asking about how they feel. We have new love, we have rejection, we have work hard, play hard, um, and we have incomplete some of you are dealing with another fixed sign, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. I'm saying a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Libra, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio for some of you. Hmm. We're also going to get messages from the Hermit deck because this is for people in Hermit mode, not speaking like what's going on with them. So we will look at that at the end of the reading to get messages from them. But what I'm seeing here is... um. Somebody here is still living their life, okay? I feel like this person could distract themselves with work. They might be very busy. They could live a pretty um, full life. They could have a lot on their plate here. But I do feel like this person is feeling incomplete without you. Um, either they're saying here that they betrayed you and they're acknowledging that or they feel betrayed by you because it's going to be different for everyone. But it does feel like this person is kind of like just going through the motions here. They're living life. Um there could be someone new in their life or they're assuming that you've moved on, okay? Uh, maybe they feel rejected or they've been rejecting you. I don't know. Um, I, I feel like this goes either way for different people. So I'm going to say both. But I do feel incomplete. I feel like this person is kind of like, um, like I said, going through the motions. Maybe people around them are none the wiser that they're going through something. But I feel like they are. They feel incomplete without you. And either they're acknowledging that they betrayed you or that they feel betrayed by you. And it could be because of a new love on your side or their side. So let's get some of these cards here. And let's see what's going on. What's going on with them individually? What do they have going on? We have the Ace of Wands energy. Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. We have the Ace of Cups. Love. Okay, so there is a new love in their life. Wow. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you have two aces here. This could be something fairly new over the last week for some of them, last month for others of them. We have the devil. Okay, so they're in devil energy. Hmm. Capricorn energy. Um, We have perspective. The hangman. Okay. So we have a Pisces for some of you. Let's get one more. We have the moon. This is Cancer or Pisces energy. Could also be Scorpio. Um, wow. Well, so the moon. So this person is uncertain about what the future holds for um, them. Not even necessarily about you. It feels like they literally are going through the motions. I'm seeing somebody here who is having second thoughts about this lifestyle. I feel like they kind of jumped out there. They maybe met someone new. They were having fun. The Ace of Wands is all about like physical attraction, chemistry. Ace of Cups is feelings for sure. But it's like the newness of it all. It's the potential. But I feel like there's something going on more recently with them where they're second guessing with the moon and the hangman. Yeah. This is somebody like withdrawing. There's something complicated about this lifestyle. For some of you, this person could have addictions here. It could even be sex. They could even be a love addict. Okay. They could just like the newness of meeting people. And so I do feel like this person has been dating, but they feel incomplete. Because <laughs> the moon is here and the hangman is here, which lets me know that this person is unsure about this new person or these new people that they've been dealing with. There's something a little bit toxic here. They could have a codependency. Somebody could literally be a sex or a love addict. Um, yeah, I feel like this person kind of jumps into things. And I don't even think it lasts long at all. It just kind of feels to me like they withdraw from these people as well. But they enjoy it for, for the moment. But then there's something about like once the newness wears off, you know, we do have new love here. It could just be constantly wanting new love. And so there's, there's this regret, almost buyer's remorse. 
once they meet someone, it's like, I'm not looking for a commitment. Maybe that person starts to talk about being committed and they're like, wait a minute. So they kind of leave them hanging. I feel like there's a lot of people who could be feeling like you feel like, where do we stand? It's not just you. The thing is, I don't think that you are the same as these people here. There's something more new about them where you and this person probably have more history. Hmm. So they could have even gotten betrayed by a new love. Uh, maybe they ended up dealing with someone who was in devil energy because it does say betrayal, new love, rejection. Maybe they chose someone else and that person didn't choose them. Okay. What's holding them back? We got the page of pentacles. We have the five of swords. So we got um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aquarius here. Wow, we got the five of wands. Leo energy. We have the six of wands. Leo energy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see what they're saying here. And then we have the ten of pentacles. It says establishment. So we have competition, defeat, manifestation, success, and establishment. So two of these cards are your cards, Leo. And I feel like what I'm seeing here is somebody who's looking at Leo get a lot of attention. They feel like you're seeing other people. They feel like you've moved on. So there's this defeated energy and they're focused on their work. It's like this person, the only thing that they have that's stable in their life is work. They could be training. Um, they could have even gotten a new job since you last spoke to them. They're studying something. They could be going to school and working. I told you here they're working hard and playing hard. So I do feel like they're preoccupied with work, but they also make time for fun. And I feel like there's this feeling of defeat. And that's what this card says. Um, and I also feel like these other people that they get involved in, this is how it goes. It's like somebody or a particular, a particular person or multiple people that they have met and started to deal with have done the same thing to them that possibly they did to you. If they kind of left you hanging in the hangman, um, somebody else did that to them. And that's their karma. So this Ten of Pentacles is here, which lets me know that could be a family situation that's been holding them back. Either you don't get along with their family, their family don't like you, something like that. There's some sense of like um, disharmony when I look at that Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles could also be something that just is like this person's, um, they inherited this. You know, this is something that kind of runs in their family where, say for instance, you know the saying, you know, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. I see the Ten of Pentacles that way. So... Say, for instance, this is a man and his father always cheated on his mother or his father always kind of left relationships. He learned that if it's a man, he learned that from his father at his father's knee. So these are inherited issues with the moon here, insecurities and fears about love. OK, so this person, there's something in their bloodline and their lineage that I feel like their family tree that is kind of holding them back. Now, that's either people that you don't get along with because the five of wands is competition. It is like external forces coming between you and someone. So that could be what's holding them back. Or they just feel like you have other options. You're enjoying them. You're getting a lot of attention. Some of you could be in a limelight or big on social media. They could be watching you on social media. And the fact that they are, they're seeing that you're talking to other people. People are flirting with you or whatever. So they're planning to do whatever they were doing, see other people, reject you, whatever. It, it it backfired on them. And now they're feeling defeated. Yeah, five of cups at the bottom of the deck. You could be seeing five, five, five. You got the five of swords, the five of wands, and the um the five of cups here. So the only one you don't have is the five of pentacles. So like I said, this person's work. Look at that hermit mode. Yeah, could be a Virgo. This person is in, um, I mean, the five of pentacles is not here. They're watching you, though. Know. Somebody is watching you from a distance. A Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini, or an Aries for some of you. But the Five of Pentacles is not here because I feel like they are working. I feel like their money is fine. They could even have a lot of money with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so now we're going to look at how they see you. I'm going to use a different deck. How are they seeing Leo? How are they seeing my Leo collective? The three of wands that you've moved on. Aries energy. Again, they feel like you haven't missed a beat. They feel like you don't care. <laughs> yeah.
yeah, the Ace of Pentacles shows up now. So they feel like you're very money focused. They feel like you are um, very stable financially. Some of them feel like you are investing in your career and your business or whatever. Right now you're focused on your money. You could have moved or they think you moved. This could have been over the last year. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. We have the Eight of Swords and we have the Judgment card. So we have Gemini and Scorpio here. So I feel like this person sees you as someone who caught judgment on a situation that was stuck. They feel like for a long time, you put up with them waiting for them or, you know, staying with them through the good and the bad. And you ended up making a judgment call. You learned your lesson. Let's get one more. So this could be a Scorpio or a Gemini. One more for how they are seeing you. I feel like they've learned a lesson too. Yeah, somebody wants to come back your way. Could be an Aquarius. So this person is stuck on you. They're stuck on you. They're wanting something stable with you. They want a new beginning with you. But they want to build on, on a solid foundation. So this disappointment, this grief that they're in, they're spending a lot of time in solitude thinking about that. It says alone time. And that's what we have here. The hermit is alone time. So somebody is just like stewing in their, their I want to say stupidity so bad, but I'll say their sadness. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have the page of cups. This is an apology. Mm -hmm. And then a nine of wands, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you back. Gemini, Virgo energy. This grief is starting to really get to them. I'm saying a Sagittarius or Libra. Somebody's heartbroken. Or they know they've broken your heart. Yeah, there could be an apology that they want to give you. Um, I don't know if they'll do it, but they, that's what they're thinking about. So how are they viewing the connection with you? The Eight of Pentacles, they want to work it out. Could be a Virgo. You could work with this person. What is this that we have? The Knight of Wands in Reverse. Hmm. So this person wants to work it out with you, but they feel like you're angry. This could be a Sagittarius. They feel like you're angry. Um, yeah, we get the devil again. And then we get the eight of swords again. You know, this person is, is blowing me because I'm getting this feeling that this person, they want their cake and eat it too. This is the kind of person that's showing up here. This person views relationships as um, captivity. You got the devil, imprisonment, um, oppression, with the eight of swords, imprisonment. So there's something about the knight of, the knight of wands in reverse is player energy. It's very cocky, very arrogant. Um, yeah. Or they just feel too weak. They don't feel like they have the courage to be able to really commit. This person literally could have addiction, y'all. And they could be in and out of jail for some of you. Hmm. But they're viewing a relationship as like captivity. Even though they want to work on it. So they're in two minds about it. Why do I feel like that? We got the seven of wands. We got the lovers and we got the chariot because they, okay. So some of you are dealing with a Leo, a Gemini, or a um, cancer here. Well, you got seven, six, seven. You could be seeing those numbers. Um, somebody could be born in, the, in July of 1967. So this is a defensive energy. This is Leo energy. You see how there's a third a third party here? There's a woman watching these two people. And this is a um, conquest card. So some of you, your person is at a distance. They deal with other people. They deal with someone else. There's a third party here looking at them. I don't know which one of them you are. I don't know if you caught them cheating and you moved on. But there's definitely a defensive energy. And this is a Leo card. So this could be you being very defensive because you found out that they were dealing with someone else. Because this woman has lighter hair. This woman has darker hair. But the woman back here has darker hair. So I would assume that's you. You could have found out about a third party. And you either moved on or you see them as someone who just kind of treated you that way. Hmm. So what are their intentions? Because it feels like I am seeing somebody maybe want to work on something with you. But I don't feel like they are fully... Um, 
mm. prepared for what you're wanting. So let's see. Show me what I need to see about their intentions, Spirit. What are their intentions with Leo? Should Leo ever talk to this person again? Something put them in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles is in reverse now. Y'all. Virgo energy. This could be a 10-year relationship. Now we got the Ten of Cups coming out sideways. What is going on here? Pisces energy. We have two tens. We could be seeing 10-10. Ten, ten. And then we have the Fool again. So the Fool is here twice. We have the Ten of Pentacles twice. But it's in the upright and then the flipped in reverse. I'm asking about their intentions. The Fool means they want a new beginning. It's here twice. They want a new beginning, but they just don't know this came out sideways. And this is like your happily ever after. For some of y'all, the problem with this relationship is that there are other people, family members, friends, people who are close to your person who have come between you two. And maybe they're very naive and they fall for it. And that's what makes them guarded. And that's what creates these um, tensions between you two because they listen to the wrong people. They take bad advice. Now we have the King of Cups. I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups at the bottom, the Six of Wands. That's you again showing up in the Six of Wands with the Emperor. So it feels to me like this person is definitely admiring you, Leo. This is your energy on your high horse. I told you, they know you're getting a lot of attention. There's so much craziness going on around this person. They have the wrong people around them. And they can be very impressionable. The Knight of Cups doesn't like stepping on people's toes. He's like a people pleaser. And I, I just kind of feel like there's somebody new that could be coming into your life. That may be why they're saying new love. This is your divine masculine coming in. I don't think it's the same person. Some of you could be dealing with someone slightly younger than you, meaning your past person, the person you're watching this reading for. But I feel like they could be an Aries or somebody very stand up. I think I told y'all this yesterday. And y'all get to see the image now, him with the shotgun looking at the globe. Because I told y'all, oh shit, I wasn't supposed to say G-U-N. Yeah, now this could be that they're at a, at a distance from you or just very protective. They could even be very powerful. A politician, 17, 17 was just on the timer. Maybe y'all should look that number up. You could already be talking to somebody new. Whoever this person is, I, I, I like them. But this person here, not a bad person. It's just that they don't know what they want. And I do feel like they're admiring you. I told you I feel like they're watching you. So it feels like their intentions are to... Um, apologize right but then even though they want to work it out and want a new beginning with you there's something off about them being able to stay because the ten of pentacles is longevity but it's in reverse ten of cups is you're a forever person but it's sideways so it's like this person is stuck in their head they overthink it they can have like a victim mentality or they're just letting other people control them when they shouldn't. And that's the problem. And I do see also a third party situation for some of you. So that that's the issue between you two. And this is probably why you're not speaking to this person. Um, some of you caught them doing something or you just assumed that they were doing something. And it looks like it might be true. Um, but at the same time, they are feeling some jealousy of, you know, over the fact that you're moving on you're dealing with somebody new or they're just assuming you are let's get some messages from them do you think about me too the number one could be significant then we have i think so yes see i think so yes you can't think so and then say yes this person is in two minds we have let me hold you it came out in reverse number seven but i'm gonna take everything in the upright I feel like they don't think they can hold you. They they feel like you will reject them. I hope you'll wait for me. The three of wands did come out, I believe, twice. This could be an Aries for some of you. Somebody could be born in the year 73. The first, the seventh, or the third. Somebody could be 37 or 73. I'm seeing the 17th, the 13th here. Let's get one more. I just want space, yeah. And it says a long time. So I like when my, my messages kind of correlate. So yeah, this person just wants their space. Could definitely be a Virgo. I'm getting six house energy. This person might be really focused on their work. Um, you could be dealing with an earth sign. Namely a Virgo, but I also see Capricorn. I don't know if I saw too much Taurus, but you could be dealing with a Taurus as well. Well, the Ace of Pentacles came out, and that could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So some of you could be born on the 6th. Somebody could be 36, born in the year 76, 63, 
Um, yeah. Look at this. Your family won't like me. I told you somebody's family is in the way. I don't think it's your family. I think it's theirs. I want to start a family with you. And that is like the Ten of Cups. I want you to choose. Y'all remember I told y'all a couple weeks ago this person wants you to choose them. Number 15 is the devil. That's the third time. Somebody could be born on the 15th. I want to get you drunk. Okay, this person can have a drinking problem for some of you. All right. Well, that is what I'm seeing for you. If you wanted to know what's going on with this person, it looks like a mess. <laughs> But that's what I see, um, and I will see you all most likely tomorrow. If not, it will be on Tuesday. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment if you so choose, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.